In today's video, I want to show you how to create a word search puzzle book. First, let's see what are the best sellers in this niche. So go to Amazon.com and search for word search. As you can see, there are more than 2000 results, which means this is a high competition niche. I usually recommend that if you don't want to pay for ads, start with books with less than 1000 competitors. As you can see, this book is the best in this niche. If you ever wanted to find the top 100 books in a specific category, you can check these links. Here you can find the list of the first 100 books in the word search category. This book's price is $12.83 and has a 257 pages. And as you can see, the best sellers rank is 915. Now let's see how many orders this book had in last 30 days. Just click on X-ray and this will open up a pop-up page. As you can see, there is lots of information about this word search book that you can use when you're comparing your book. But for now, we just need the number of sales in the last 30 days. As you can see, it's 6044 sales. Now, we need to see how much royalty this author is earning for each sale and like always, I'm going to use Amazon Calculator for this. You can find the link to this Excel sheet down in the description. If you fill the information, this author is earning $3.76 for each sale and if you multiply the number of sales and each book profit, you can see this author in last 30 days earned more than $22,000 for just this book. You need to remember that since this author is using advertisement for promoting this book, a portion of the profit will go for advertisement. If you haven't been here before, my name is Anna and I'm here to help you create high quality, low content KDP books in the simplest way. Before we start, do me a favor and hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you. If you are not familiar with the word search books, word search puzzles consist of letters arranged in a grid containing several hidden words written in any direction. Now that we see how popular the word search puzzle books are, let's see how we can create one of these books. This tool is a free word search generator with MIT license. You can find the link to this website down in the description. With MIT license, you can use the service for free, even for commercial use. So to create a word search, first set the width and height of your table here. For example, I will set it to 16 by 16. Let the shuffle be on and before click on generate, we want to add some words. These words are the one that the user should find in our table. We can add the keywords one by one and this feature would be good when you want to create a book with a theme and you don't want random words. In that case, put the words here and click on add word. As you can see, it added the keyword in the below list. If you want to create a general word search puzzle, you can use the random word. Number of keywords depends on the size of your table and how hard you want your puzzle to be. I would add at least 10 keywords up to 20 words per table. Let's add a couple of more words here. I will use the random method for now and you can see the number of keywords here. Now that we have the words, just click on the generate button and that's it. Your puzzle is ready. Now that our first puzzle is ready, let's create our first page. For that, I use Google slide, but you can use word or PowerPoint too. Open Google slide and create a new presentation. First, we need to change the page size. So from the file menu, select page setup. And next, from the drop down list, select custom and set the size to 8.5 by 11 inch. Next, clean all the elements in the page. And now that we have our empty page, we need to bring our puzzle here. First, click on copy and paste it to your empty page. 
As you can see, the Google slide changed to the editable table. Move the puzzle to be in the center of the page, and now we need two more elements here. First, a title for this page. From the insert menu, select the text box, and the puzzle title is usually at top of the puzzle. So add the text box here. Next, we need to add a text to it. Something like puzzle number one or puzzle one, and make the text center and bold. The next element that we need here is keywords. For the format of the words, you can just paste it here and it's not so bad, but I think if you add a table, it would be much better. From the insert menu, click on the table and based on the number of your words, select the size of the table. Since I have 10 words, I will select two rows and five columns. Now just put each word in each cell. If you're not happy with the font of the puzzle, you can easily select the table and change the font from here. Let's create one more page. This time I will see how long it will take and you can see the timer right here. You can refresh the page to clear your previous words or you would need to remove them one by one. I will go by refreshing the page. The puzzle size should be the same and I won't change anything else. We just need to add words like the previous puzzle. Press the random word 10 times to add the words and at the end press the generate button. As you can see, the first part didn't take that long. In your Google slide, you will have two options. You can either create a new slide or you can simply duplicate the existing one to keep the same design. I will go with the duplicating the one that I already have since I want all of my page to be identical. First, change the page title and now instead of pasting your puzzle, first select the table content and then paste it. As you can see, it just replaced the content and the size and position didn't change. At the end, we want to change the keywords and like the first puzzle, copy them and paste them here. When you create all your pages, you need to create a PDF file for your book. For that, from the file menu, select download and click on PDF document. As you can see, it won't take that long for you to create a puzzle book, but to have less competition and improve your chances for selling books, I would recommend theme-based word search books. For example, word search for fathers, mothers, Bible word search, word search for kids, or even movie-based word search are very common and popular. That way you're not competing with thousands of books and you will have a better chance to start selling. If you don't have time to create your puzzle, you can also buy them from websites like Creative Fabrica. You can find the link of that website down below in description. I hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful and let me know in the comment section if you have any questions or maybe you have better way to create a board search puzzle book. At the end, if you liked this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell. See you all on the next video and bye-bye.